and welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some five color fires. We're going Niv Mizzet, Fires of Invention, and a whole bunch of multicolor cards. That's what our deck's going to be all about. Of course, Niv Mizzet is just an awesome card to play. It has one of the best animations in Magic Arena. Um, you know, you look at the top 10 cards of your library whenever it enters and you, for each color pair. So each of these cards, like this is a blue-green card. This is a red-white card. So each color pair, you get to put one of those cards into your hand. So it can draw a ton of cards, especially when you're playing all multicolor cards like we're doing here and playing a lot of one-ofs. You know, we have a few two-ofs um, here and there, but mostly playing all one-ofs so that we get to... Um, draw a whole bunch of different cards with Niv Mizzet Reborn. Um, no, not not every card has a card style. Bedevil does not. But basically everything else. So Bedevil, Ethereal Absolution in the sideboard. Yeah, pretty close there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so you know, like with Fires of Invention, of course, how powerful this card is. We get to play multiple spells a turn. Um yeah, that that allows us to play, you know, like some of like these these real powerful stuff. Play a couple of these, you know, play like a Casualties of War and a Garrick in the same turn. That would be amazing, and so on. But let's get to it. This is going to be a colorful deck. Hope you like gold cards. Our deck can kind of do a little bit of everything. And Hawkeye's here to join us. Yeah, Kiora counts as a color pair. It's blue and green. Yep, it's both. Yeah, I, I'm not... Okay. <clears throat> Good to know, Guala. Yeah, I'm not expecting the Senate Guild Mages to do very much, to be honest. But you never know. We'll try them out. But yeah, that that looks like an underpowered card for standard. All right, so we got Justice Strike on turn three. Not bad. Couple Niv Mizzets. We got three of our colors. We just need green and then either white or black. All right, there's the either white or black part. Now we just need green. <clears throat> so the Knight of the Ebon Legion is, you know, of course, pretty annoying with his Justice Strike. If they activate Knight, then Knight has Death Touch. And then we'd be able to kill it. Um, that's not green. Niv Mizzet plus Teferi plus Allure. Yeah, I guess, so yeah, so Teferi plus Allure means they don't get to cast the card. That does seem pretty awesome. I don't, you don't really need to miss it with that. But yeah, that, that's a, I guess just a four color combination that's kind of difficult to pull off. But yeah, that's, that's definitely a really good combination of cards. Teferi does make a lot of things better. Green. Ugh. 
trying not to die, Hawkeye, but we're so close to dying. We can stay alive, barely. I think my only plan of staying alive is Like I said, barely. Could make that a 2 2 and then Domri's ambush and kill something else, and I'd, I'd go up to 2 life. And so, like, you know, they attack with the two things. I could still block one and I'd take one. Alright, so Kaya, Absolution, Clarion, things that are removal are coming in. Alright, everything? Alright, <clears throat> let's just kind of work from here. Let's see what we're cutting. Um, I kind of like our fives and our fives and sixes. I don't like Ral. I don't like don't like Key or Key or also helps speed up our deck though. I don't really like Domri's ambush. I don't Domri's ambush seems a little slow. Because our creatures are just really expensive. Man, Absolution could be pretty awesome, though. It's probably too many Bedevils. Hey, Voodoo. Yeah, this Knight of Autumn does gain life, but we need it to be able to trade with cards. We need basically the way to win, like just a little bit of life gain. Life gain is good against, um, how can I say this? Life gain is good against like red aggro decks that are using burn spells, and you want your life gain to counteract that. When they're just attacking you with a whole bunch of creatures, a little bit of life gain, they just keep attacking with your creatures. It, it doesn't help you win the game. So we need... We need spells that, that trade with theirs. You know, like, does the 2-1 with Knight of Autumn trade with anything? Like, not really. You know, couldn't, couldn't block, like, any of these. Either of these, so... Like, so that's, like, why removal is just much more valuable in this kind of matchup. Thanks, Tronks. Thanks for the Clarion. I did need a Clarion, you were right.
Really? I don't have blue. Well, that was a huge waste of a shock. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I was going to be able to cast that. Well, that was a huge waste. Could have played the temple. Yeah, that was pretty important. All good. Had it the whole time. Trunks is just helping me out. All right, so I should have played this first before scrying. I, I kind of was thinking about playing that. Um, did I not take out to spark? I thought I did. I was kind of thinking about taking playing the, the Garrick there. <laughs> you did say it first, Matthew, but I think Trunks is the person that has the power because Trunks said it twice, and it's worked both times. Yeah, that animation is awesome. Dispark, you know, Dispark's not a dead card. Obviously, Ember Cleave is the biggest thing that we want to Dispark. But even, you know, Spawn of Mayhem is another one. Time wipe. You ever listen to critics? We were born for the hunt. Just... Oh my gosh. Blech. I so just have to hope they don't have something that kills my Garrick, but okay, they're not going after Garrick. Just doing the damage to the face. So that puts us down to three. They could put us down to one. A little surprised it didn't do like draw card, but I guess we do have fires of invention, so it makes our draws like really powerful. Oh, I've had enough of you. Destroy an artifact, destroy a creature, destroy a land. Getting a counter on Garrick just in case we need to minus three Garrick. Just in case we have to do that. We were born hunt. We are the ape.
Maybe I should have destroyed this fire zone invention so I could have instant speed justice strike. Obviously, at the time, I did not have justice strike. But now I kind of wish I did have justice strike available. Can they give it haste? Fling? Fling? Fling. No fling. So basically, I, I'm just not really casting more spells because we can just win with what we got on the battlefield. Don't need to cast anything else. I could have cast Niv Mizzet just to, you know, for the animation, but then they get to see all those cards. Alright, do I need. Alright, should I play Knight because of. Get the spark out of here. Because of Ember Cleave? Yeah, Absolution's probably not going to do enough for a six mana card. All right, let's draw Fires of Invention again and have turn three Clarion. Turn five time wipe. Nah, I think we gotta ditch this. Better. Um, I guess I'm gonna put back trophy. Boo. <clears throat> Boo. Don't have two black. Still don't have two black. So I thought the, the Clarion was going to be like the most important card. I mean, well, obviously the fires. And then Clarion was going to be really important. And it is between the trophy or the Enter the God Eternals. And I liked Enter the God Eternals' ability to gain life. And trade with something, you know, and then also be a 4-4. Where trophy's not a card you really want to cast early and ramp them as much. I wish... Hmm. So spawn... I'm going to bedevil. Eleven, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess my only chance is bedeviling this thing. I wish I could do that during their upkeep.
That was a good hand. Played around that Clarion really well. They, you know, they got to see with the Duress. They played around that very well. Three mana seven sixes hit really hard. I can't play anything in the hand. I think that ambush probably needs to be something that we can actually cast. Doesn't seem like it's castable ever. We just don't have, don't have enough creatures for it. Okay, we got Fires of Invention. We're playing against Windscarred Crag Tribal. I guess now I'd, I'd have to shock in for just bark, but but playing this probably not to sparking though. Could have Torbrand. I guess they could have Torbrand. So I'm just not shocking in for fires. I'm just not gonna pay the two life because we don't have we, like we don't have anything that we can play next turn anyway. Doesn't seem necessary. And the two life looks very very important. So this is three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen damage. Hey, Brain GGs. Oh, we only have two stomping grounds? Okay. All right, so Kaya. Definitely want Ethereal Absolution for this matchup. More trophies, more Clarion, more Tulsimer. Um... I mean, obviously these things. Uh, do I want to ferry? Maybe we need to keep the Kiora. Maybe I need to keep Kiora. Just to help fix mana, help ramp, let us play tap lands in still for a while. Taking up a devil means that we may not have things to kill three mana Chandra. We have just trophy.
Um, yeah, we could take out a Niv in this matchup. We probably could. We have our most important card, and we have good mana, but we have two complete dead cards. So this is just a five-card hand. I could trade this five-card hand for six cards, but are the six cards even going to be better than this? Like, this seems like a pretty good hand of just, like, my... Four lands with most important stuff with like my most important card there with fires. We have the scry land to help us out. We obviously need to draw like Clarion and stuff like that. the whole time. Hey, Rex. Day's going good. Day's going good, Kramer. Yet you've never been hugged by a kraken before. Um, feeling pretty good even after the 12 hour stream yesterday. This would be a perfect time to draw a Niv Mizzet. We get to draw an additional card with Kiora. My opponent's going to discard. That's pretty good for me. <laughs> no, adequate. No, I'm never going to do a 24 hour stream. 12's the the limit um you know like whether if it goes you know 12 and a half to closer to 13 that's fine but i'm not i'm not going to do anything like a 24 hour stream it's just too difficult on the body too old for that crisis All right, so we got six. <laughs> we are inventing fires. We have invented fire.
No one has invented fire better than us. We didn't start the fire. Um. Nature flows with vigor. I don't draw a card for that. I guess it's a zero zero that gets four counters on it. Lame. Yep. Yeah, it's a zero zero that gets four counters. It's not a four four. When evil arises, I will be there to confront it. I sense the good in your heart. Well, that's not gonna do it. Nah, we're not gonna kill Johnny. Oh, let's see. They gain two life. They go to twelve. I got twelve. Okay, that's fine. Life link. Yeah, crate. Yeah, we drew with Crasis. Crasis doesn't enter. It's not a zero zero that gets counters on it. You know, sure it looks like it does. It enters the battlefield with the counters. This doesn't enter the battlefield with the counters. This is like put four plus one plus one counters on an army you control. If you don't control one, you create a zero zero black zombie army creature token first. So you create the zero zero to put the four counters on it. Which how does that even work? Like how can you create a zero zero and then have it stay alive and then put counters on it? How does that even work? Let zero zero just die. Hmm. So they have like <laughs> it's magic. So they have like that four man enchantment, and they have they have a Johnny. So I want to play another Bedevil. I've seen a Johnny and Chandra. Let's take that Garrick out. Play Bedevil. No, Nissa lands are different. Nissa, you put the counters on the lands and then turn it into a 0-0. Zero, zero. Like, then you make it a creature. It's different with the Nissa lands. Because if it was the other way around with the Nissa lands, then the lands would die. But I guess that doesn't die. Because of magic. And that's why... It's why Blight Beetle doesn't stop Nissa from putting counters on lands. Because Blight Beetle stops counters from being put on creatures, but they're not creatures. It's putting counters on lands. I don't know. It's weird. So the zombies get tokens as part of a mass resolution during that state-based actions are not checked. All right, so they're not checked until after the resolution. We got our fourth land for the fires. Let's keep the removal spell.
Yeah, I think it's yeah, but Kalua King, I think it's just different with the Nissa lands because they're lands. You turn the land. I don't know. I don't know why it's different, but it's it's different for some reason with that. Somehow different, and I don't know how it's different. Our true strength lies in our friendships. Bran. That's gonna make this a uh, Johnny hit me for two. Doesn't seem like a, a white 2 2 does very well with Cavalcade of Calamity and Torbran. Oketra sure does some stuff though. Oketra. My Ketra. Not looking good. Yeah, not looking good for us. We need to draw like our one time wipe. Oh, Ketra. Dominating. Time wipe. Time wipe. No. Time wipe. No. <laughs> well, they said good game here, and then I just had time wipe. Yeah, another O2. Um, really didn't seem like we had en enough stuff for aggro. It really did not seem like we were we were good enough against aggro, which is probably the case with playing a five color deck. How can we fix this? One, we need more time wipes and more clarions, less bedevils. Yeah, Discovery, Growth Spiral. Yeah, Growth Spiral is a good one. I also really like Discovery. Kaya's Wrath is... No, I don't like Kaya's Wrath because it's uncastable unless you have Fires of Invention. I don't think playing a card that's uncastable unless you have Fires of Invention is, is a good plan. But yeah, the Senate Guild Mage doesn't do anything. So that, those could just be Growth Spirals. Krasis is, is just awesome. We should just have a second Krasis in here. Krasis is awesome. So Kiora turns into Krasis. Um, let's get another Time Wipe in here. Because Time Wipe picking up niv and picking up Krasis is also just really good. All right, let's take out Ambush. That card's not playable. Oh, 
Okay, so how are we doing? So what are we missing? Oh, we're missing vetoes in the sideboard. Yeah, like veto is just so important against a lot of decks. We'd have veto in the main also. Uh, what's the Ral doing? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, that can go. Elite Guard Mage is underrated. Um, we don't really need Fabro Elder. Elite Guard Mage is underrated, though. We play like an Elite Guard Mage. That could be too many blue white cards, because you do want to. Switch it up. You know, you don't want to have all... Like, you know, you don't want to hit multiple of, like, the same colors. You want to have, like, different colors. All right. Absolutions are gone. That card didn't look good. Definitely need another time wipe in the board. Yeah, uh, yeah, we do need all four Clarions. In general. Probably want, like, yeah, like four Clarions and three Time Wipes. You can use You can use Veto with Fires of Invention, just not not after you already have fires out and everything, then um you know, then you can still use it during your turn, but you don't always have fires of invention in play. Alright, y'all don't like to main deck veto? That's fine. I feel like Expansion Explosion could be better than Outburst. I guess you're really like looking at a, a late game card though with Explosion. As far as a Simic card goes. Could just play Royal Scions and just loot. I would like to play Ionize, but same kind of thing. <clears throat> yeah, I could have a thought erasure. I do like Rampage. And I like Bedeck as well. Because Bedevil just seems pretty hard to cast. Like the double black, that was difficult to cast. That gives us three blue-black spells. I, I actually don't really want to play this Justice Strike, but the, the Justice Strike was, was fine for us, but I don't really want to play it because of wanting to play all the Clarions. I want to switch it up and not have too many red-white cards. So I honestly don't want... I don't want Justice Strike because of that.
could have a find finality that they uses, you know, like they can use the finality part or also, you know, it's just a six mana sweeper or also find to put back niv mizzets in your hand. Is Escape to the Wilds just awesome? Maybe it's not. All right, so we take out Justice Strike, have a third Clarion in the main deck, have <clears throat> one Rampage, one Bedevil. I like that main deck more. Get us an extra Clarion, an extra Time Wipe, an extra Hydroid Crisis. Some Growth Spirals help us get some more lands into play. Thought Erasure, you know, is just a really strong card. I like this main deck more. Um... Yeah, we'll see. All right, so then sideboard. Um, yeah, we're, we're top heavy, but, you know, fires helps you with that. Fires helps you with that. Main deck Ravager Worm, it's it's a removal spell, and it's, it's the best gruel card to play. Could just not play a gruel card. Whoops. We'll play a Tulsimer and not have two Knight of Autumn's main. Get a Tulsimer main. Tulsimer is cool. I guess to the thing about Tulsimer is it's only castable. That's basically only castable with Fires of Invention, but that's the same thing with Casualties. I don't really like these two Casualties, honestly. They're like one Casualties over here. There's gotta be another like really good planeswalker, right? That we're missing. Golgari Queen. Golgari Queen is great, especially in a 27 land deck like this, where you just flood out. And you can sacrifice stuff, but then also just kills everything. Yeah. Get some Golgari Queen. Why not King Arthur? There's not really stuff in this format that, um... <laughs> okay, all right, Blaine, Brainfly, yeah. Dread for, foretold tomorrow, second slot. Okay. All right, will do. What are you going to sack with Gugar Queen? Uh, la lands, for the most part. It'd be, it'd be, like, later on in the game, uh, when you, you know, like, when you have your Fires of Invention and you got six lands, you can, you can sacrifice some extra lands. Uh, Othakaya could be something to sacrifice, too. You can also just choose not to sacrifice stuff, but it just destroys everything. You know, it's a good card to play with Fires of Invention on turn four. It destroys everything with a minus three. You don't really have to sacrifice stuff, but if you have, like, the extra lands, because we have 27, you know, like, if we have, you know, eight, nine, ten lands, we can sack them. 
<clears throat> okay, yeah, we'll do Brainfly. We'll do. Um, so yeah, I, I like like what we got going on here more. Is Tulsimer actually just better? Enter the God Eternal is better than Tulsimer. I don't know. I like how Tulsimer is green-white because there's not a whole lot of green-white stuff. Okay. Let's play... All right, let's get this this list up on Stream Decker also. This, let's play one more. This this one was shorter. This is a shorter video. We're under an hour. Um, so let's play one more here. We'll just play a, a match over in ranked. The Dread foretold we got to play some longer games. We can cast our spells. Got all five colors. Got multiple of all five colors. Uh, four temples. This isn't bad. What's up, Blow? Thanks for the sub. Uh, yeah, deck list is updated. I actually don't really mind keeping this. It'll be fine. All right, Temple of Malady, we can do that one. <laughs> Whatever temple you want to throw at me, we got. It'll turn three Thought Erasure. Dinosaur? Can't play a dinosaur. What is this? Wait, still an upkeep, upkeep, stop! No! I got that stopped too... Too shortly. Okay, good. <clears throat> I was really worried about the Great Henge. Them just playing the Great Henge. I, w I needed to stop that during upkeep. That was my plan, and I, I just kind of forgot to do it, and I, I was a little too late. But I, I, I want them to discard, right? So we have to get past to their turn so they discard, but then I still wanted to kill it before they could just play the Great Henge. All right, Clarion's still good. Draw Niv-Mizzet. 
Alright. Well, I mean, I just have to take the Order of Midnight, because if I take something else, they just grab it back. I mean, I could take the Vivian, but... So I wanted to do that first before playing the Scryland, so now that we know that we don't want to keep the top card, we gotta... Um... I guess Ravager Worm's not even good against Falmire Knight. We do get to kill Innkeeper, but... Card's not good against Falmire Knight. If I just sit back and just do the plus one plus one counter, they just play Vivian and minus and have the Foulmire Knight kill my worm, and then they just get to keep their Foulmire Knight, and my worm's dead. That would have been good to grab with the. Get the Ravager Worm back, though. So we've seen I can't lose a fight. six lands and six spells so far. After keeping seven, a seven lander, it's been now it's been seven land six spells. Now seven and seven. Yeah, this is part of the uh, secret lair bundle of sleeves. Yeah, I'm counting the They're lands that we scribed to, to the survive. bottom. I'm just saying, like, what, what, what we've seen so far. Now, eight lands after after keeping the seven lander. They didn't have, like, a Ceratops in their sideboard to kill me. I oh, just want to play another Vivian. Oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. I don't really mind the keep. I mean, I think I think like we we did some good stuff there. But when there's 32, 32 spells and twenty lands, thirty three, thirty three spells and twenty lands after our opener, and we still just drew more lands than spells. <clears throat> It's unfortunate. We just needed to draw one Niv Mizzet, and that could have all been different. Need one of those. So this is a tough matchup. The green black adventure. This is definitely the type of deck that they are the best against. They have just a lot of card advantage, and they hit hard and fast. This is, this is exactly the type of matchup they want to face. So not great for us. Sorry, Ravager Worm.
Seems weird to take out Assassin's Trophy, but they just do such a good job of using that extra mana. I, d I really don't want to give them that extra mana with Assassin's Trophy. All right, we need to draw lands this time. So you're telling me we keep seven lands and we draw more lands than we do spells. We keep two lands and all we see are, are spells. Some days you just can't win. <laughs> That's today for us. Some days you just can't win. dematerializing you're just sitting right there on the battlefield Kai is always such a drama queen Alright, just gotta find red mana. Red mana. Where are you? Well, Brassica gained a seven life, kept them from doing a, a rankle trigger. Yeah, I mean, they're sitting there with, you know, with eight cards in hand also. They haven't been playing lands at all. They're going to do, they're definitely doing the discard because they have to just discard for turn anyway. Yay.
<clears throat> Five color dreams not over. They still have seven cards over there, and we have three, but we got three good ones. Not questing piece, that's good. destroying these lands I want to do this it is good to get cards out of your hand for niv mizzet too because niv mizzet can, can just like fill your hand and then you have to go to discard Ugh. did that beast that's not the card I want to see at all Do I scribe before or after? We'll do before because we need to play something else this turn. Basically, either to spark or rampage. We can give Niv Mizzet lifelink next turn. They know everything, every single card in my hand except for the Clarion. This is where fires can start being a downside. Because it's kind of easier. Okay, that's fine. Because <clears throat> now we get to play more spells now. And now we get to have instant speed removal with the spark now. For a questing beast. I don't think I actually want fires, do I? I like being able to play instance. No more inventing. All the inventions are gone.
<coughs> they're not gonna take it. I'm gonna take that no mo. I thought about that when I was looking at this. I was like, that does that doesn't give me leave me two black for Bedevil. But then I realized, well, I only have one red source, and I can't leave up enough for Bedevil anyway. Keeper is pretty busted. Man, being able to play instance is awesome. All right, so this lets me still play. Dispark. I could hold up Dispark and Bedevil. If I want to shock. Could have both of those. Could obviously just play replay Niv Mizzet. Honestly, I probably should have just played Tulsimar and killed the Edge Wall Innkeeper instead of playing Time Wipe. I don't know. I just want to get the Time Wipes out of my hand, though. I could have if I would have shocked, right? Or maybe I didn't. No, I guess maybe I didn't have. Maybe I didn't auto tap for to have, or I didn't have three. Um. Yeah, I guess I didn't have three black sources available, did I? All right, only two cards left. I should just play Niv Mizzet there. I don't need to. I don't need to hold up the Devil at this point, being at 12. Yeah, I should just play Niv Mizzet. After the Tulsimer. You know, I'd still play the Tulsimer, but I should just play Niv Mizzet also. I was thinking, you know, I'd, I kind of want to, you know, pick something back up with the Time Wipe. But of course, picking back Niv, Niv Mizzet up is awesome. So nice being able to play instance. Really, now the, the problem with playing Niv-Mizzet is I'll probably have to go to discard. Oh, I guess they are at 5, aren't they? I guess I could be more aggressive at killing them. 
That's true, that's true. Alright, we'll get some more creatures out here. Make them discard, not let them play the Great Henge. <clears throat> okay, well, their card's not the Great Henge. Yay. I mean, it's not necessary. I could have gone for lethal, but you never know. The card's in hand. It's uh, like they weren't tapped out, so... It wasn't a guaranteed lethal, but still did just fine. So I'd like to play Mortify and Bedevil. I mean, Mortify and Bedevil both looked awesome. I'd like to play another one of each of those. I can certainly cut the Knight of Autumn. I guess we have we have enough things that, to kill the Great Henge. Plus, Bedevil just kills the Great Henge also. So that's so that's probably just going to be an upgrade. All right, we'll just do that. Hey, Giant! Happy birthday! Oh, this hand probably dies. We got a Clarion that we probably won't cast. Because they'll get duressed away. That was my thinking. Spiral's awesome. We can potentially play, you know, like Fires and Mizzet next turn, but that obviously just gives us way too many cards in hand. So you go like Fires, Tulsimer. Probably need a backup Fires. Are they gonna kill this one? Those jerks. Uh, yeah, this probably gives us too many cards. It's just my best play, though. All right, ditch a. Yeah, it's a good turn four. We didn't have to pay. You didn't have to shock at all, and on turn four we got to play fires and Niv Mizzet. That gross spiral. Oh no, we had to, we did have to shock for the gross spiral earlier. Didn't I say I had something for that? Yeah, I did. Um, why am I blocking here? No reason to block there. Ten life. Still, that's a lot of life. Oh, I don't have another land. Crap. I need a land for this. Casualties. Draw one card with Krasis. One card. Any card. Any land. We got 27 of them. Built.
<clears throat> so yeah, of course I wanted to cast casualties. I can still pick up Hydrocrasis with like the, the Tyrant Scorn or of course the Time Wipe. Creature, land, artifact. All right, they still got five cards over there. This grace is back. Don't need that. Now we have a blocker for another questing beast or a wrinkle. I wouldn't be surprised if they have another questing beast, how they're just like sitting with cards in hand and not really doing too much. Wouldn't have been too surprised there. You really like Robber the Rich Choco? Good card. Too many cards. So I let myself in. Too bad. Oh, you better watch Get out your here, back from here on out. I don't want to hear from you again. They could use a like the the raised dead thing to grab a murderous rider though. So maybe I need to take murderous rider. It's a good card to raise dead. But questing beast is enough is I mean I can I can fight through a murderous rider. Questing beast is probably more problematic. Yeah, order of midnight, that thing. Alright, there we go. See? New list worked well. I thought that was gonna be a tough matchup for us, you know, like a, a uh, pretty you know, after the, that first game I was pretty worried about that, but it went well. Okay, we just had to play a little ranked. So there's five color Niv Mizzet fires. Um, you know, hopefully these hopefully these changes also do. Uh, hopefully the, these help you out a little bit here, uh, Guava. Hope you like the changes. Um, give them a try. You know, keep me updated. Uh, those y'all on YouTube, uh, try out these changes. Let me know how it goes for you there too. 
I'll you know put both the deck lists in the description. You know the one that we started with and the one that we played at that last time, as well. Um, but there we go. There's there's five color fires. All right, you're trying it out now. Yeah, let me know how it goes. All right. Uh, also, y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and uh, yeah, leave those comments. But that's it here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.